word has come about that the heavyweight championship title match between Alexander Usyk and Anthony Joshua, part two, this Saturday, August 20th, will not be pay-per-view for U.S. audiences. That's a good thing, people, because the conversation had originally been that the zone match room we're going to try to take this to the task of charging their Western viewers pay-per-view. This is the type of fight that needs all eyes on it because the heavyweight division is suffering immensely. With the back and forth what wavering that Tyson Fury is doing, retiring, unretiring, challenging people, retiring again, offering the fight fighters for free, retiring again. All of these things have created something that makes a little bit more interest in this fight prevalent. In the first go round, Alexander Usyk outboxed Anthony Joshua to a 12 round decision that saw him in the last stages of the fight come on strong enough that AJ appeared to be withering as the bout closed out. He says now, after finding a new trainer in Robert Garcia, that he believes that had he been more familiar with dealing with a Southpaw fighter, he would have smoked it. Well, at no point during the first bout did it look like AJ was going to smoke Usyk. At no point did it look like he had smoke for Usyk. The things that I noticed about that first fight was Usyk was able to tactically put AJ in a place of unfamiliarity. And this is something that you really have to pay attention to. Because Joshua, who's now 24 and two with 22 KOs, had never boxed such an experienced fighter with the tools and talent of Alexander Usyk. I had made a remark many times over that when he first acquired the title from Prince Charles Martin, that AJ needed to fight various styles because it was already proven that he could carry a big punch, but he needed to polish up on his boxing ability. He's not a, for a big man, he's not a guy who will fight on the inside. And he is going to have to add that to his repertoire because just being big, having size and reach is not gonna be enough. You have to be versatile in there. And he's always had difficulty against fighters who are shorter than he. Alexander Usyk, who is now 19 and old with 13 KOs, and was actually in the lower weight classes as an amateur, has found his skill set and relies upon it, even as he has grown throughout the sport, becoming undisputed cruiserweight champion and then now having the unified heavyweight titles in his possession. Size doesn't matter to this man. It's about the fight that's within. And with Usyk, the skill sets that he brings to the ring are enough of what offsets anything that Anthony Joshua can do physically. However, Joshua has a a chance in this rematch based on his physicality. People have taken note of he has slimmed down quite a bit and dropped a lot of the muscle mass that he was originally carrying. That's a good thing and it can also help him if you're talking about stamina late in the fight. But the thing about stamina is this, it can still betray you 
when you're not mentally strong enough to deal with pressure. And I think that that's the part where AJ really has problems. It's the mental stresses of the sport. He's not the most confident of people. If he gets going to a good start, he can ride the wave of that. But as soon as opposition shows up, as soon as someone decides to turn back his challenge, he has to make adjustments. And I do not believe he has the wherewithal to make adjustments on the fly. He needs to have it all going one way or it's going to be no way. Against Usyk, technically, Usyk took away Joshua's jab by jabbing with him, jabbing over his jab, countering over his jab with his right hook and doing things subtly as stepping in and out, fainting, stepping to the side. AJ didn't have an answer for that. Will Coach Garcia be able to have him prepared for that? We will find out on Saturday. But the other thing is the mental strength factor. Will AJ be able to put it together and have confidence that he can go out there and execute a game plan to put him in position to win the bout? I'm not certain about that. Because if you think about it, going into the first fight, Usyk was prepared for whatever AJ may do. And that meant if AJ was going to come out and try to blitz him, he was prepared for that. If AJ was going to try to box, he was prepared for that. If AJ was going to try to be physical, he was prepared for that. Seeing that none of those things happened in the first fight, Usyk was able to settle into a boxing match that favored he being inside and out from medium range and stepping out of range totally where AJ was not going to be effective. And then when he did get inside, he was busy enough with combinations through enough body shots that caused AJ difficulty. Going into this rematch, Usyk recognizes that he's going to have to break AJ down this time. We're talking about a veteran experienced fighter and psychologically, he has a victory over AJ already. This plays a huge factor going into this rematch. I do not believe Usyk is willing and ready to give those titles up. AJ is going to have to do something special on this night, but I truly believe the one who is going to be special it's Alexander Usyk. This is Stormy B-Man. Let me know what you think. Shout out to the mighty LDBC. Until the next time we speak, peace to everyone and everyone please remain safe.